What is up, people? Buenos dias. Another Iron Duo video. Special edition. Yeah, it's Billy Billy Bats from Molly's deadlift video. Uh, it's his powerlifting competition day, so we're here to support him because we love him. And today we're featured with Ludwig Lifted. Oh, and this is the girlfriend. That one, pink hair, not Molly. Pink hair. Pink hair. This one, that one. Yeah. He's okay. gonna hit some crazy, hit some crazy lifts today, guys. Yeah, and Elena's gonna outbench him by obviously 100 oh. kilos. Yeah, obviously. We're gonna Elena in the competition as well. Yeah, so. we entered her without her knowing. Yes. Yeah, you owe us about five hundred dollars. <laughs> that, that was the installment fee and everything else. Yeah. Sounds it's, wonderful. Alrighty, folks. We'll All see right. you in there. Crazy as possible on every fucking set, but if you don't push yourself. Right. How do you know where that line is? Right. I'd rather go too far than not far enough. The guy who likes walking is going to walk further than the guy who likes the destination. Hi right, boys, Billy Bats is uh, warming up right now. He's over there in the white, getting the 15 minutes till they start lifting. No, the rule briefing. Oh, rule oh, briefing. Rule, 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 rule briefing. Rule briefing. Sorry, she knows a lot more than us. Yeah. We have yes, guys, we are so hyped and so excited. So he's going to start with his squat. And he's one of the first few to lift, if not the first to lift. I think he may be the first. That's, so that's a W. Stay tuned. That's a W. But yeah, the only thing I know about powerlifting is what I watched in the Jesse James West power build a powerlifting competition. So I'm kind of stupid with this. I know he needs at least two two green lights or white lights. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna be recording most of Billy Bats, but we're gonna record some other people. Yeah. Make Mo sure Molly is going to be informing us on what's going on throughout the entire time. Yeah. But we're pretty yeah. stupid. All right, guys. So we're gonna be. Movie video recording some of the guys warming up. Um, we're gonna be here where everybody is just warms up and yeah. Right now they're doing a rule, rule debriefing, so we'll just be showing you around. So, what's like the process going on right now? So, like, what's, what's up, guys? Um, so, the process right now is everyone's getting warmed up. And once they get warmed up, we have around five to six minutes before they start. So what they what the lifters need to do is they need to warm up, get the body ready, and they'll take their openers. Typically, your opener has to be something light, you know, almost like your final warm up. That's why you can see with Billy and some of the other guys that they're gonna stop their warm up now. We still have ten minutes to go, ten to eight minutes, and then they can go get their openers. Are these, is right now just the warm ups and just like debriefings and all that? Yes, so they did the, the rules briefing, but for the experienced lifters, they didn't have to go because if you know the yeah. rules, you know the rules. So it uh, looks like everybody's ready to go. I'm excited. How long have you been like coaching or handling? Yeah, so I've been coaching now for three years. Uh, I've been powerlifting for six, lifting for 10. Yeah. Um, and this is the process you want to make sure you got to do. You got to learn the fundamentals because just because you're strong in the gym doesn't mean anything. You know, yeah. we, we like to call that gym strong. Gym strong are guys that can do everything in the gym, they go to the meet, they can't get it done because they don't know the process, so that's why it's important to know the process. Yeah, yeah. 
live up Pull the trigger up the thriller to the highest bit of Ooh la la, what's the vibe, pussy fuck Ain't get no more when they come take life just because Say nah, I'm gonna go up in the drugs Ain't that hoe get a bit More, Robert Moore So how long have you been powerlifting? A long time. <laughs> yeah, about 40 years I've been 40 years? doing strength training. Yep. Strength training? Yep. So it's just like, you just, it's just like, you're used to this. You're used to this environment and everything? Well, it's, it's a great environment. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times you've done it. You, are st you still have nerves. You still have the butterflies. You do. Yeah. So. so do you have like any inspiration for like people who are like trying to get into powerlifting or like that's... I would just say, you know, it's it's obvious you can do this your entire life. Yeah. Um, make sure that you are safe when you do it. Yeah. You've got to learn the proper techniques. And if you can, if you can get it with a really good coach, use the proper techniques, learn the proper form, and you safely do this, you can do it your entire life. Some did she get off of my nook? Oh, hey. She go deep, hold it till she cry. David Brennan. Um, I'm from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, 32 years old. Um, so how long have you been powerlifting? Uh, so officially, this is my second year, second year powerlifting, but I've trained for about 10, 11 years total. So how do you feel about your lifts and like right now? Going on right now? Yeah. Um, I feel pretty good. Uh, I had the weight cut for this meet, so I had to lose about 10 pounds. Okay. Um, when I got when I weighed in, I was 12 pounds under. Or, I, well, 12 pounds. I lost 12 pounds, yeah. but um, I feel pretty good. Feel pretty I'm having good. fun. Yeah. Uh, trying to be, just trying to be conservative and be moderate yeah. with some of my lifts. Yeah, the lift, we're, these lifts, we're like, this one's crazy. Uh, we're, like, yeah. we're like, it's a Superman shirt, bro. Oh, thanks, man. This, thanks. And it then, gives me some motivation. Yeah, and then we I, saw the Naruto shoes, and we're like, this man's on it, bro. Yeah, man, the Kotsky. The Kotsky. There it is. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, so. So, like, what is some motivation for people who just want to start out powerlifting? Dude, you know, just uh, just get into it. Um, be humble. Be willing to learn. Like, I'm yeah. always trying to learn from people. Like, I was just talking to Michael, the guy that was benching after me. Yeah. Um, he's a phenomenal lifter. And I just pretty much told him, I said, if you have any tips for me, you know, please, please tell me. So always yeah. be willing to learn, always be, you know, just try to have fun, soak in the atmosphere and, and yeah. enjoy it. And he, he, he was great. Man. Yeah. So. Mike Dudley. Mike Dudley? Mm -hmm. So where are you from? How long have you competed? I'm from North Carolina. Been competing for 10 years. 10 years? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about today? Like, do you feel pretty confident? Feel solid. Feel solid? solid. Yep, yep. How do you feel about your lips? Do you feel like you could have done a little bit better or you feel like... I think everything felt good. Okay. My goal was accomplished. My coach yeah. kind of performed. So do you have any like tips or any like inspiration for the people who want to try powerlifting? Yeah, get into it. Get into it? Form is everything. Form is everything. Yeah. Like how's like the environment right now? How do you feel about it? No, oh, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's same powerlifting environment. You love yeah. it. In here, it's like a high, you know? Yeah. Look around, everybody's doing what they love, throwing this throwing these plates around, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
Poor Billy. Hey guys, Joy Bats went six for fucking nine. You know, you know, I, oh, I, choked, I choked on bench, guys. It's usual though, it's usual, but so how do you feel about like everything like going on right now? Squads, pretty fire, pretty fire, pretty fire. Squads went pretty well. It's not dick on 205, but you know, it happens, it happens. It wasn't strong that day. Fucked around a little bit too much and my technique changed. Bench press, no excuse for that. I just suck ass and they get better, bro. Honestly, deadlifts though came in clutch. Came in clutch. Yeah. Felt like fucking LeBron. You know, had a had a had a had a had a clutch up against Golden State because I knew I needed that point. You know what I'm saying? That last point. That last one was a three pointer that I had to shoot from half court and I fucking made it. All fucking right. made it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who's a, who's the person or coach that influences you? Uh, my favorite coach, Noah Kim. Uh, he could have done it with Noah Bats. No, Noah Bats is one of the greatest ever. Favorite Mongolian wrestlers. <laughs> He's one of the best I've ever seen and will ever teach me. He tells me my bench sucks ass, so it must suck ass. <laughs> so what will we do now? Let's go fix it, go to nationals, and let's hope we don't go six for nine in nationals. Let's hope we go nine for nine. All right, so what are your names and how long have you been training for powerlifting? All right, so my name is Ronan. I've been training for powerlifting. I think I'm on block 13 with my coach, so a little bit over a year. Okay. Um, Benji? My name is Benji. Um, I've just been uh, I've been training for powerlifting for like a decent amount of time. I don't really know, but like a little, a little, a little, a little bit, you know, just a little bit more. You know. Um, I'm Houston. Uh, I've been training for just about six months now. Okay. Uh, what was your motivation to get into the gym? Well, my motivation to get in the gym is I'd always had like people make fun of me for my body and how I looked. And I was just overall not really happy with myself. And I found something that I could finally, like, I would work hard in it. And it would, like, the gym is one of those things that, like, you work hard in it, you will see results. Like, right. you can't not see results. So I was happy with that. And it got me to love myself more. And I think it was overall such a positive thing. That's great. That's great. For real. Um, I, I went to the gym because I was, like, I think it was, like, I just knew it was a healthy habit, right? And I saw, like, if I go to the gym, that's a healthy habit, right? And I just started going to the gym. Right. That, that, that was pretty much it. I also did it for hockey, but like, that too. So, uh, I got into it because I was actually like very obese. And I lost about, I think, 80 pounds, or just about over 80 pounds. And, um, you know, I got into it, lost the weight, and I was like, damn, I Sir. actually like this. You know, so I got into powerlifting. Nice, nice. Uh, and final question Is there a mantra that you have in your head that you like repeat when you're going in for a heavy lift? I don't know, if I could say one thing before every deadlift attempt, Ben came over and he told me that I already had it. Like, it's, it's already yours. You just have to go walk on the platform and take it. And, it, and I mean, it worked. My, la my third deadlift attempt moved at like RP6. So, what can I say? Nice, nice. Get it up. I mean, it's pretty simple. Stay locked in. Once I say that, my brain just clears. I can just go up there. Easy. All right. Well, thanks, guys. It's great to meet you. Well, we're representing Team Nucci, PA. Love new, love to Nucci. Unfortunately, the coach couldn't show out today, but we're good. Yes, Team yeah, Nucci. Yep. All right, great to meet you, man. Hey, dude, thank you so much. All right, what is your name and how long have you been training for? Uh, Derek Legrand. I've been training for a little over a decade. Okay. So, been around. Uh, what's your favorite lift to do? Uh, squat, for sure. Squats. Yeah. 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 You were dominating on the squats. We saw you. We're like. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. No problem. <laughs> uh, is there like a big influence that you look up to in your? Um, I mean, I have a great coach, um, Bill McCarthy, um, but there wasn't like a ton of people in the powerlifting world. Uh, I kind of just uh, looked up with a lot of like guys at the same gym I would lift at. Right. Um, so no like big names or anything, because um, powerlifting just wasn't big when I started. Right, right, right. Like even 10 years ago, there wasn't a social media following yet. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, is there a mantra you have in your head that like when you go in for a heavy lift that? 
Um, I mean, it's if you're going for like a truly 100% lift, just give you know. Who cares if you pass out? That's how you know when to stop, right? That's right. That's right. You don't stop until you pass out, or you know, until you get the lift. Like there should only be should it be a binary decision? That's right. always what I, what goes in my head. Introduce yourself and how long have you been lifting? Well, my name is Piero. I've been lifting for almost two years now. For almost two years. Almost two years? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about today? I went crazy today. I got nine out of nine lifts. I got three PRs. No state records yet, but soon. Yeah. So what is your strongest lift and what is your weakest? My strongest lift is bench. bench. I got to 285. And for the lifts, I got 440, which is my weakest. Yeah. Um, what is your inspiration? What is the motto that you say in your head before you lift? It's not being a bitch. Not being a bitch? <laughs> yeah. I feel that's that. A motto. Yeah. That's a good motto. Just lift it. Yeah. Um, what team do you rep? For? Uh, for your team for deadlift. Because I know some people. Oh, have... blackout strength. Blackout strength? Mm -hmm. um, what is your. What do you think about the ambience, the environment, how it is? How it is, how it is how it oh, that ambience is crazy. Crazy, crazy. What is some inspiration for new people that lift, that just want to power lift? Don't overthink it too much. Just get to it. Just get to it? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. All right, so what is your name and uh, what do you do here? My name is Barry Adamson. I'm a judge for Powerlifting America. So how long have you been doing that? I've actually been in powerlifting since, well, it's, it's coming up on 10 years now. So I started out as a competitor, not with this particular federation. Um, I, uh, and then I transitioned into judging. Started out with uh, United States Powerlifting Coalition. And then Jonathan reached out to me and was in need of a judge. So luckily we were able to make a transition to Powerlifting America. Right, right. Um, so, what was your experience today judging up there? All the lifters look great. I mean, obviously you have a, a wide range of lifters from beginners, you know, first time competing, which is great because it shows that the sport is growing. Right. There was a time when the sport was dying out, but uh, a lot of young interest in the sport and that's great. Uh, but then of course you got your more seasoned lifters, guys that have been doing this five, 10, 15 years. Um, lots of great competitors and great community. Uh, when you were competing, what was your favorite lift to do? Squat, squat, by far squat. Now, my deadlift is stronger than my squat, but I just like the squat, so. Right, well, and what was your max squat that you ever did? 365 pounds before I got uh, an injury on the deadlift right after it was a meet uh, should be four years ago now but you know I'm, I'm recovering I'm trying to get back into competition and I'm a lot stronger now than I was back then because you know when it comes to the mechanics of the lifts your body already has built into it because of your movement patterns certain ways it compensates and at age 23, I got out of the Marine Corps because I busted my hip. Now, doctors told me I was n never going to be able to lift or run or do anything athletic. And then I met a guy, a doctor up in uh, Frederick, which is where I live, Frederick, Maryland. And uh, he's like, they don't know what they're talking about. Give me four months. So I was like, I got nothing to lose. And in four months, I didn't have any pain. And then he turned me on to powerlifting nice. a few years later. Um, and you mentioned before and earlier to us you have like trained with some of the greats. Kirk Kowalski, Marty Gallagher, um, those are the two big names. And uh, what has your experience been like, like training with them? With them? Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Lots of historical knowledge. These are all old school lifters that know what they're doing. And you know, you got a lot of new school lifters out there, all different types of uh, information and advice, exercise science has advanced a lot, and that's all great. Uh, but for me, when it comes to the classic techniques, I go back to old school because that's that's a foundation of where the sport started, um, and you can't go wrong right. with with that. Right. All right, well, Barry. Well, thank you for your time. I'll let you get home.
say we're too disgusting. Baby girl, I got money and no need for disguises. Don't be never call a regular, I don't think she's rough. Yeah, she wanna ride.